Hello, uh, my dear followers and clients out there watching my YouTube videos, following my YouTube channel, subscribing, being my client and all of that. So I need to ask you guys to pray. Pray for Israel. Send all of your love and light. Send everything out there because they need peace. They need healing. They need blessings, they need miracles there. So please pray, please, please, please. I ask you all to join me. Usually I pray every day. We should always pray every day, especially when we are God's chosen ones. Earth angels and star seeds, you know, sensitive empaths and highly sensitive beings who want to heal the world. We are here to, here to help the world. So please pray along with me. Pray for Palestine, pray for Egypt, pray for all of this that we read in the news, that I just read from the news and I just had to record this video. I need to ask you guys to, he to, to, be, to be praying, to sending healing and blessings and miracles and love and light. <sighs> because those toxic people, they need that. Toxic people always need healing. They always need healing. And we cannot stop any wars or any bullying or anything. If we do not do something, we need to do something. We need to act. We need to pray. And every prayer is powerful. So believe in those prayers. Believe in Jesus. Believe in God. Believe in yourself when you are praying. It's not at all okay that innocent lives are, are lost for nothing because somebody wants to kill them. Some other people want to, want to destroy and kill other people and their their homes and, and schools and, and buildings that that are important. This is so crazy. It is just so crazy and so sad. And I'm almost almost crying here. It is just too much. Please do something. Pray or donate to their assistance, to their help. We need each other in the world. We should unite in peace. People should unite in peace. I hope that these people who survive all of this in Ukraine, in, in Palestine, in Egypt, wherever. I hope that they will discover true empowerment and happiness again and safety and balance and peace in their lives because it's the most precious thing, the most healthy and important thing that we can ever have along with peace of mind, you know, health is everything, mental health, peace of mind, they are everything, to have balance, they are everything. I hope that they can let go of this pain, I hope that they can look back at one point in their lives and see the blessings and miracles that we're coming through. There's always something positive. There's always miracles and blessings present when we just choose to accept them and, and receive them and believe in them and to acknowledge them and pay attention to them. If we don't do these things, if we don't pay attention and believe in miracles and blessings, the magic in life, of course we will miss it. And we will miss out on a lot in life because we're supposed to be having all of that we're supposed to be, you know, healthy and safe and, and, and blessed and peaceful and having those miracles and blessings every day. And also, if you're going through a tough time right now, you're wanting to heal, trying to heal after narcissistic abuse experiences, people have been bullying you, disrespecting you in different ways, maybe even physically attacking you, sexually harassing you or assaulting you even, 
whatever they have done to you, just always remember that it was never your fault, that you have the right to be sensitive, that you need to be your sensitive self, you need to be your authentic self no matter what somebody says or does, you need to have your boundaries and stand up for yourself, even though how un uncomfortable and difficult it might feel and seem, because it does of course when you're used to toxic treatment. So you are a childhood trauma survivor, a narcissistic abuse survivor, so these things are so heavy. But be merciful on yourself, be compassionate on yourself, towards yourself, because you need to be cultivating that, you know, that positive, positive self-talk, that healing. And it always begins within you, with nobody else. Yes, people can be ver very supportive and very loving and kind and caring. And healthy relationships are very healing. Just like toxic relationships are, are very destructive and toxic, of course. But sometimes you only have yourself, basically. So if you don't have your family or your friends or, or a partner to support you and love you and care for you, then you always need to do that for yourself first. And if you had not lived and tried things and experimented things and trusted people and you know if you did not take any steps you did you didn't have you wouldn't have your experiences either so your experiences are, are always valuable the lessons that you've gone through they should make you stronger and they do make you stronger when you let them so you need to allow your lessons to make you stronger and you need to be letting go of what is not serving you anymore so you need to be clear on these, what the lessons are and what you should be letting go of. And then you can open that road, that road to empowerment for yourself. Because, you know, things happen when, when we do things, when we take steps, we meet people, we connect with people, we have feelings and emotions and, and thoughts every day as sensitive and highly sensitive beings, we experience life in a deep, deep way. So things can happen and accidents can happen, mistakes can happen. And these are a part of life, a normal part of life. So there comes a point when you just have to be letting go of anything that is holding you back, that is unnecessary. And you need to be giving yourself the space and all of that room, all of that positive, high vibrational energy that is yours naturally. You need to be opening up the gates to all of that for yourself. This was just coming to me, so I needed to talk about it right now. That's um, because a few mistakes just happened to me today. And I'm in the middle of a, a move to a new home, a better home. So I accidentally accidentally broke an item and I'm just telling myself to see the positive. And I felt called to be, be uh, talking about this, that once again, if there is something that happens that is a mistake or an accident, always try to see the positive and call in the miracles and blessings. So we cannot punish ourselves for our mistakes. We have to be merciful on ourselves. We have to be understanding towards ourselves first and foremost when anything happens, because we are allowed to make mistakes. We don't need to be perfect. We're not supposed to be perfect as human beings. Life is not supposed to be perfect. And so we always need to give ourselves the room and the space to be letting go of the unnecessary and to be calling in what is meant to be, 
the blessings and miracles, seeing the positive, feeling the positive, feeling the blessings, the miracles in, in a situation or whatever it is that we're dealing with and have faith in a better future. So be proud of yourself for everything that you have accomplished in your life, for everything that you have tried and tested out. Even if you failed, so what? Failure is a lesson. And once again, it is the universe directing you to a better place. It's God directing you to something better. So always see it from this angle. Give yourself the slack. Like I need to give myself the slack today because these things happen and it's life and everything is not in our own control. But we have to strive to be in our own peace of mind, to be healthy, to take care of our loved ones and ourselves because no one else can do that for us. I just send my love and my prayers out to the world, to every corner of the world, to every single person, child, animal who needs healing and salvation. My heart always goes out to the world. And uh, <clears throat> just wanted to give you this guidance. And also... Don't forget that you're not alone. If you're, if you have found me and my work, you have someone to support you. So don't hesitate to buy my self-help book, for example, or book a call with me for an hour to talk about whatever you're going through. And I can help you to become empowered. I can help you to be able to heal and move on and see things from a better angle, a healthier angle.